So was ballet the first kind of dancing that you got into, or did that come afterwards? No, ballet was always the first, first and last thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, my mom and my sister were, were ballerinas, so that's why we had ballet in our family. Was there any pressure for you to go into it, or was it just a natural kind of extension? So there was pressure not to get into it <laughs> because my mom and my sister knew what uh, you know what ballet is, how hard it, how hard it is uh, on the body, and also like it's, it's a very stressful job, and uh, that's why they always said to me, "Don't do this. This is uh, it's." It doesn't give you any money. It's it's really hard. I mean, it's beautiful, but it, don't don't do it. But of course, I I wanted to do it uh, my whole life. So, what is it about it that you like so much? Well, I was a shy kid, and I don't like to talk. Uh, so I don't I don't talk about about my emotions and about how I feel. So I found out that dancing is my. It's it's my way of expressing my feelings. It's my real. I feel I feel it's like my first language. You know, I feel good dancing because it just I can I, f I can finally talk, and I, I can share what I have inside. I mean, what essentially makes you so good at it? <laughs> uh, practice, <laughs> practice, and discipline, and uh, work. I mean, <laughs> for everything you have to work really hard. But I feel like for ballet, it's even more so because ballet is not a natural thing. It's it's not a natural way of of moving. Uh, so you have to really uh, change the way your body is and moves uh, in order to to be a ballerina or or a male dancer and it's it's very hard it takes a lot of years uh, to become good at it it's not something that comes naturally how many hours of training will you generally go through leading up to a new performance for example today I worked yeah and of six hours and then I taught so oh my <laughs> the gosh. whole it's the whole day dancing or talking about ballet you you mentioned it was hard on your body or hard on yeah and how, how come like what is it about it we we do everything uh, to the extreme so we we jump to the extreme we split all the you know turn out muscles that normal people don't even know that they exist so we, we kind of uh, ruin our bodies in order to look beautiful and, and super light on stage and partners male dancers even more because they have to lift the girls and so their backs are <laughs> completely ruined and so it's it's a pretty I mean if you if you meet a dancer any kind any ballet dancer when they're 60 or 70s they have some replace replacement surgeries done and it's it's a really tough life. Are, are you worried about that? Like what you're going to be like at 50 or 55? <laughs> well, I know I'm going to be uh, super broken. <laughs> it's, it's part of uh, what I signed up to in the beginning. And uh, I don't think that's the worst part. I feel like the worst part for a ballet dancer is ending the career because we've, we've been dancing the, our whole lives. But then at some point you can't dance anymore because your body can't and you're just too old to look young on stage, right? So the, our problem is not really like how physically we are uh, when we stop dancing, it's, it's what to do after ballet. That's, that's a very hard uh, question for us dancers, it's like the transition. It's, it's a very tough thing and uh, every dancer goes through this process and it's really hard because we've been dancing our whole lives, we've been focusing on it and probably we didn't have like time to, to do anything else besides that. So it's, it's hard to transition. Music